we're gonna feed the bees today and just kind of see how they're doing and I'm struggling with my hat but you know it's what it is so I'm Kelsey this is Duke's Yard Homestead and we're gonna check the bees probably be one of the last times we'll feed them through the winter we'll see I'm gonna close everything up so we just got done checking the bees and everything's looking great especially going getting ready to go into winter I live in Solon 7b so we don't have too hard of winters but I've still been feeding the bees and keeping a check on them every so often and now I'm just hanging out with the chickens and um, it's Thanksgiving weekend and I'm going to be going out of town on Friday. I'm going to go back to Boone and visit some friends and uh, see the mountains. It's been a while and just get out of town for a little bit. So I've been preparing uh, to leave. Um, when I leave, I usually have someone come by and check on the chickens, mostly my boyfriend Jeff. And um, when he can't, my grandma does. It's a, it's a whole family effort at times to when I, when I do leave and uh which is rare so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and i'll make sure to record some while i while i'm there but um i have created these five gallon feeders for the chickens and just got those filled and replaced their water i have two different waters um two five gallon waters in each coop um, one with cups and nipples and then uh one that's like a big one that i bought from tractor supplies so nothing too fancy um, i really like the the homemade ones better um, not just because of the price, but just I like the cups better than the the waters from Tractor Supply, and um, not the, there's anything wrong with those. I just I think I can keep them cleaner and and they last a little bit longer, and it's less use uh, in terms of waste, and like there's less waste. So um, the chickens are like all around me. I'm sitting on the ground, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because they're just doing their thing and checking out the camera. And uh, anyway. That's what I'm doing today here on the homestead. Other than checking the bees, it's really preparing the girls for leaving. And I'm only gone for a couple of days, so it's not like a big deal um, in terms of, of leaving them. They are pretty self-sufficient. I have my waters and my feeders set up. So, you know, in case I'm sick, in case I want to leave, then I, I can do that. Um, I do come out and see them every day, sometimes multiple times a day. One of my favorite things to do is to sit with them and... Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've done, and um, it's starting to get dark. We're getting dark about five o'clock here, and 
I just wanted to sit down, take a second to do a little bit of a video and, and capture the hens and just what's going on here other than, than the bees. There's a lot and as you can see there's leaves everywhere. Uh, I have a couple of giant white oaks and uh, we leave them in the backyard and most of the time in the front yard too over, over winter and, and then we compost them come next spring and or use them in our new beds and things like that but that's another time and another story but I'm gonna let you see the chickens <laughs> She's a buff Orpington and one of the sweetest ladies on the homestead. Uh, 